Here's all the cringiest responses from the media when it comes to Trump winning. And you love to see it. Some of it's so sad and some of it is just delicious. Watch this. This is the biggest red wave I've seen since Ronald Reagan's 49 state victory. There were appeals to racism in this campaign and there is yeah, racial is bias in this country so and there is sexism bias. in this country. I can't help but wonder if the American people have given up on democracy. Oh, right. I hear what and that's why they voted for Donald Trump. They hate doc democracy so much they decided to vote for Donald Trump instead of a candidate that's been installed. It has to be because of that, right? Democracy. Democracy. I hear what you're saying. What is it? And I, I, I do see it differently because I'm thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite. Right. Like, who are hurting tonight. Like you. If she were a six foot four white man from, from Arkansas or from, you know, Florida, do you think she would be losing by that much? <laughs> So people vote based on the color of people's skin? Now that's some deep thinking. Hey, Joe. Where did you go? There are good times and be together. Your face looks like it was drawn on. It doesn't look real. Joe. That's such a dumb talking boy. Yeah. Yeah, the American voters are so stupid. They don't actually look into policies of candidates. They're just like, uh, white guy? Cool. Yeah, white guy? Wait, are you over six foot tall? Okay, I'll vote for you. No problem here. As long as you're white and over six feet tall, I would totally vote for you. But if you are at five foot 11, <laughs> like me, if you're five foot 11, you miss the mark. And you can never be president. Ever. Because I'm Joe Scarborough. This is MSNBC. I will die. You're losing by that much? I think that we've got to be honest. Among Hispanic men and black men, there's a lot of misogyny. Uh, there are African-American women yes. who know a little bit about being talked down to. So true. And know a little bit about You're having doing their right economic now. dreams crushed. Yeah. Who try to dream a big dream. Over dream the past couple dream. months. It's not enough to get enough white women to vote um, for Vice President Harris, a fellow woman. This would be the second opportunity. Yeah, that's right. Don't blame your own race. Go after white women. <laughs> What's your problem, white women? Why would you listen to Mama, Mama Joy? Huh? Mama Joy Reed? Huh? Why would you listen to Mama? Love your earrings, boo. How much those things weigh? At least 100 pounds. Dang, girl. What you got on that earring? Also, you appropriated my culture with that blonde hair. Uh-uh, I don't like that. Change your hair. Unity ...that white women in this country have to change the way that they interact with the patriarch. There's misogyny. Yes. But it's not just misogyny from white men. <gasps> Who is it from? It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Preach, I'm sick of them. Right. It's misogyny Get them out from of the country. Men. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope so for a lot of hurt. Yeah. And they were hoping that maybe yes. this time. What? This time. Yeah. One of their own could be seen as worthy. Things oh, we've right. all been talking about. Who do yeah. Maybe they were hoping for just this one time. Just this one time to be seen as worthy. Then get a better one. <laughs> You pick the worst one and you're like, hey, you guys like this one? <laughs> you're supposed to just like them no matter what. <laughs> the Democrats are still like, hey, this is the Democrats acknowledging, hey, guys, we, I just want you to know, we literally will vote based on skin color and race. And gender. Not sex, but gender. It's, a, it's on the spectrum. That's literally who the Democrats vote for. But guess what? People in the middle of the road, libertarians, conservatives, they, they, they don't do that. Things we've all been talking about who do not want a woman leading them might be race issues Amen. with Hispanics. <gasps> they don't want a black woman. Exactly. As president of the United States. To all the, the pollsters, the ele election pollsters, yeah. um, blow me. <gasps> okay. Where do I start? <laughs> okay. Uh uh, uh, <laughs> God. Don't ever want to 
from you again. <laughs> okay, wow. People who said that he was a Hitler lover weren't Democrats, they were Republicans. People who said that he was a fascist weren't Democrats, they were Republicans who worked for him. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't the Democrats were calling Donald Trump fascist. It was every right wing influencer and every person on the right was calling Donald Trump a fascist. Every single one of them. God, imagine believing that kind of gaslighting. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's insane. <laughs> it was, it was the Democrat, the Republicans. We on the, on the left, we were just like so down to earth and normal. And the only reason our candidate didn't win is because of misogyny. This is literally the stupidest. Oh God, I love it. Keep keep on this train, guys. Yeah, race baiting is really working out well for America. Thank you.